morning children welcome to standard 1 mental maths class today i am going to teach you conversions we can convert money from rupees to paise and from paise to rupees to convert rupees to paise we multiply by 100 and to convert paise into rupees we divide by 100 we put a point between rupees and paise to write them in short the point separates the rupees from the paise now i'll teach you how to convert rupees to paise convert rupees to to paise for converting rupees to to paise we multiply 2 with 100 paise 2 multiplied by 100 equals 200 paise so rupees 2 is equal to 200 paise next convert rupees 3 to paise for converting rupees 3 to paise we multiply 3 with 100 paise 3 multiplied by 100 equals 300 Passive. So rupees three is equal to three hundred passive. Next, convert rupees five to passive. For converting rupees five to passive, we multiply five with hundred passive. Five multiplied by hundred equals five hundred passive. So rupees five is equal to five hundred passive. Next, convert rupees six to passive. For converting rupees six to passive, we multiply six with hundred passive. Six multiplied by hundred equals six hundred passive. So rupees six is equal to six hundred passive. Now let's learn how to convert passive to rupees. to convert paise into rupees we first need to count two digits from the right and put a point and also write rupees or rupee in the big name let's see few examples convert 400 paise to rupees for converting 400 paise to rupees first we will write 400 then we will count two digits from the right 1 2 and put a point here and rupees in the big name so 400 paise equals rupees 4 next convert 600 paise to rupees for converting 600 paise to rupees first we are going to write 600 then we will count two digits from the right 1 2 and put a point and write rupees in the big name 600 paise equals rupees 6 next convert 300 paise to rupees for converting 300 paise to rupees first we will write 300 then we will count two digits from the right 1 2 and put a point here and write rupees in the big name 300 paise equals rupees 3 next convert 900 paise to rupees for converting 900 paise to rupees we are going to write 900 first then we will count two digits from the right 1 2 and put a point here and write rupees in the big name so 900 paise equals rupees 9 let's move on to the next topic measurement measurement can be done in three ways measurement of length measurement of mass measurement of capacity let's start with the first topic measurement of length the standard unit of measuring length is meter long distances are measured in kilometers small distances are measured in centimeters let's convert meters to centimeters 1 meter equals 100 centimeters here we have to change 6 meters 
to centimeter solution 1 meter equals 100 centimeters so 6 meters equals 6 multiplied by 100 centimeters equals to 600 centimeters so 6 meter equals to 600 centimeters now let's convert centimeters to meters 100 centimeters equals 1 meter here we have to change 400 centimeters to meters. Solution 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. So 400 centimeters is equal to 4 meters. Let's move on to the next topic, measurement of mass. Mass is used to measure the weight of an object. The most common units of mass are the gram and kilogram. 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. Here we have to convert 4 kilograms to grams. Solution. 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. So, 4 kilograms is equal equal to 4 multiplied by 1000 4 multiplied by 1000 is equal to 4000 grams now let's convert 9000 gram to kilograms solution 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram so 9000 grams is equal to 9 kilograms let's move on to the next measurement of capacity capacity is the amount of liquid that a container can hold let's convert liter to milliliters 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters here we have to convert 3 liters to milliliters. Solution. 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. So 3 liters is equal to 3 multiplied by 1000 milliliters 3 multiplied by 1000 is 3000 milliliters so 3 liter is equal to 3000 milliliters now let's convert milliliters to liters 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. 
Here we have to convert 6000 milliliters to liters. Solution 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. So 6000 milliliters is equal to 6 liters. Children, I hope you all have understood the topics which I taught you today. Related to these, the worksheets will be uploaded on the school website. Kindly go through them and practice them properly. Thank you and have a nice day.